Hello everyone. I am Ravi Kumar. In this session, the topic I am going to discuss is railway and airport engineering. Its introduction. Okay na? Welcome. Railway and airport engineering. Okay na? So this is the subject. Railway and airport engineering is the subject come under <coughs> transportation engineering. and basically the transportation engineering it is a branch of civil engineering which deals about the uh, planning design operation maintenance and uh, it means and uh, solving the problems related to the various transportation system within a country understand so the subject which deals about the planning design operation maintenance and uh, management of uh, entire transportation system of a country is called as transportation engineering it is a branch of civil engineering and uh, basically we all know that the transportation engineering has been subdivided into again four parts the first one is the highway engineering and second one is the railway engineering and third one is the airport engineering and fourth one is the harbor engineering so we all know that transportation can be avoided in different modes it means we are having different modes of transportation we can discuss here different modes of transportations are there are there they are first one is the it means mode of transportation means on which or through which media we are uh, transporting or through which media we are conveying passengers from one place to another place or through which media we are conveying goods or luggage or uh, the tracks conveying from one place to another place is called as uh, mode of transportation and uh, we know that uh, basically there are three modes of transportation are there first one is the land transport and next one is the water transport and third one is the air transport land transport is nothing but if we convey or if we supply goods from one place to another place upon a land it means upon a ground surface it is called as land transport and generally we are having two modes of land land transport first one is the roads and next one is the railways understand or not and coming to water transport it means if we convey passengers from one place to another place or if we convey goods from one, one place to another place upon the water it means like uh, oceans rivers or some other any water bodies so then that kind of transportation is called as water transport and generally uh, it means uh, water transport means the the modes of water transport may be oceans rivers large ponds or other water bodies Understand or not? So next one is the air transport. Air transport means the uh, goods or passengers which we convey from one place to another place through air. It means upon the above the earth surface and uh, against gravity. If we convey or if we travel from one place to another place, so that transport is called as air transport. And generally for air transport we will use aircrafts, helicopters, and uh, aeroplanes like that. Understand or not? so these are the different modes of transportation we are having and one more thing we need to know that what are the different uh, branches of transportation engineering and why we need to study all, all those things about this we have to study understand or not so it means the branch of transportation engineering which deals about the planning design construction of uh, highways roads roads includes expressways and uh, street roads and also village roads and district roads all those things 
okay now so the planning design construction and maintenance of uh, any type of roads including highways expressways okay now so that that subject is called as highway engineering okay now and the next railway engineering the subject which discuss about the planning design construction maintenance and management of uh, rail transport within a country is called as uh, railway engineering and the subject which deals about the design and construction of airports and uh, and also design of uh, design and construction of various uh, components of airports like uh, taxiway and runway etc it means storage facilities parking facilities and uh, facilities to passengers all those things commander airport engineering it means the subject which deals about the design and construction of airport and its components is called as airport engineering and the next one is the harbor engineering harbor engineering engineering is nothing but uh, the subject which deals about the design and the construction of uh, docks and harbors is called as harbor engineering okay now so these are the various modes of transportation and these are the various uh, branches of transportation engineering understand now and one more thing we have to know that here to it means uh, about four branches of transportation engineering are there na so as a civil engineers we have to study about these four modes of transportation engineers first one is the highway engineering next one is the railway engineering next one is the airport engineering and next one is the harbor engineering and highway engineering in this semester we are going to study in the name transportation engineering and uh, another one is there that is railway engineering and airport engineering the railway engineering and airport engineering the both the subje subjects have been combined and they made as a single subject that is railway and airport engineering so about what we are going to study in this sub in this year so this may be called some places this may be called as transportation engineering too so highway engineering may be called as transportation engineering one and one more is there harbor engineering about harbor engineering you people will study next semester understand so these are the various branches and complete scenario about transportation engineering and in this uh, right now in this semester i am going to discuss about uh, railway and airport engineering okay now so in this subject two parts are there one is railway engineering and another one is airport engineering okay now okay see and uh, railway and airport engineering is the second part of transportation engineering and in these two parts are there one is railway engineering and another one is airport engineering and the main object of the subject is to give knowledge or to expose the students to expose the students to railway planning design construction and construction maintenance maintenance of railways and also to give knowledge to the students of the same thing planning design and construction of airports understand or no so this is the main objective of the subject it means the, the what to say the main this is the main object of this subject it means that the main the main aim of the subject is to give the knowledge to students about uh, how to plan how to select a land it means how to survey and how to plan how to design how to construct and how to maintain and uh, after the during construction also how to manage the things understand or no so about all those things to give knowledge about all those things to the students understand or no so that is the main object of the subject and coming to the subject it means at the end of the subject the student will able to know the importance of transport and 
the difference between the two modes of transfers like uh, airport engineering it means uh, airport it means air transportation and rail transportation and uh, how which one is the important and which which should be used in which case and uh, the difference between the two cases and what is the difference between the planning of the two systems and the design of the two systems and construction maintenance and management of the two systems rail transport system and air transport system and so on so the student able to know complete knowledge about the railways and airports as a civil engineer the students should know what are the pre required pre requisites of the railway planning and uh, and also one more thing they should know that if we are starting a project to construct a railway line railway line between two state two states or two places like if we need to start or if we need to construct a railway line between two places like uh, sikindrabad to bangalore understand no so if we need to construct a railway line between sikindrabad to bangalore what should do what should we do first of all we should do land survey understand no so we should do land survey and we should uh, gain all the details of the land topographical details terrain terrestrial details and uh, the in which area and in which place and at which point what is the strength of the soil and what is the type of the soil and all those things we have to maintain first of all that one is called as survey land survey after that what is the distance between the sikindrabad and bangalore and what is the shortest distance between the sikindrabad and the uh, bangalore and that that two things we have to know and after that and after that we should know that Uh, what is the expansion of the project and after that after constructing what the labor cost what is the expansion of the project and uh, one more thing we should know that how the project during construction how the project will impact environment as well as after construction when trains start moving uh, during that time also how the project will impact environment and one more thing we have to know that how the project or how the railway line can increase the economy of the people and how the project can help the people and how the project can increase the revenue of a country or increase the revenue of a particular railway body or revenue of a particular state understand or no and how the railway line is useful to make the things or to make the difficulties in easier or to make the problems in easier. it means to give solutions to any problems understand or no so this is the main objectives so before starting any railway project or airport airport project the civil engineer should have awareness of all these things it means should uh, do surveying for all these things understand or no okay now so what to do how to do and uh, what are the problems will arise and how to solve them and what are the benefits and in which way we have to construct and which way we have to maintain the project say is a railway project or airport project to give more benefits to the country as well as people understand or no so that is the main outcome of the subject understand or no and one more thing we have to know that that this is the most important thing the basic uh, object of any transportation system of any transportation system is what the basic ob object or what is the basic need of any transportation system that transportation system should achieve its goals it means for what purpose we are constructing or we are giving a new transport system between two places it means like uh, we started a railway project between sikindrabad and bangalore in which way it will help to country in which way it will help to people and in which way it will help to some other bodies like uh, industries or factories or agriculture understand or no so that one we have to know first of all and after that that uh, that is the main motto of the project and one more thing we have to know that that transportation system should be sufficient sufficient efficient easiest easiest and it should be economical understand or no it means that transportation system should achieve its goal and it should be efficient and it should be easiest to operate and also it should be easiest to travel people and also it should be easiest to convey goods from one place to another place and it should be economy 
economical it, it means it should its cost operation cost maintenance cost and also passengers expenses should be economical and one more thing it should for the passengers and people it should be economical for operation and maintenance also it should be economical but at the end of the day its revenue should be high understand so this is the main object of any transportation system understand so while planning or while taking a transportation project the civil engineer should aware of all these things what are the surveys to do and what are the actions to take to achieve its object and how it should sufficient it should efficient it should easiest and it should be economical understand so these are all the challenges to any civil engineer okay now so this is the introduction about the subject and we now we shall go to the syllabus of the subject in railway and transportation engineering subject we are having five units unit 1 unit 1 covers about the railways and it means basics about railways railway planning and railway alignment and what are railway alignment and what are the surveys we have to conduct railway planning basic surveys to be done and what is the railway alignment understand an alignment is nothing but the way or the center line of a railway track is called as alignment it means if we are doing it means if we need to make a railway plan between sikindrabad and bangalore we should have a path a particular path understand so that uh, railway track means it contains two rails understand no? so the center line the center line of the entire railway track is called its alignment it means you may call it as a direction or you may call it as a center line understand no? so that is called as its uh, alignment and what is alignment and how to take alignment and what are all the surveys we need to take to give proper alignment and all those things we will study and one more thing i have we have been already discussed that what one more thing we have to discuss is that what is environmental impact assessment understand now so eia it is called as eia eia is nothing but environmental impact assessment so what is environmental impact assessment means environmental impact assessment means if we need to start any project either transport system or either industry or either any education institute or either any construction or any transport system whatever it may before starting a project we need to analyze the condition of that environment in which area we are going to start the project okay now so we need to have Envir uh, clear idea of the environment and uh, during the project construction how the construction will affect the environment of that area and uh, after the construction how the environment will be affected and uh, after the construction also the project will start running it means it may start uh, running rails or uh, transportation or whatever it may start running industries or whatever it may understand so while the project is running or while the project is working how the environment will be affected all those things we need to prepare a report understand no and either if any problems will be happen to environment in the sense of pollution either the pollution may be land pollution or either the pollution may be water pollution or either the pollution may be noise or either the pollution may be air pollution whatever it may and what are the effects will be caused to environment during the construction after the construction and how to overcome the problems all the for all those things we need to prepare a report that report is called as environmental impact assessment okay now so in this subject especially we study about environmental impact assessment for railway projects okay now so about all these things we will study about study in first unit next coming to second unit so it means in unit 1 we will simply study about the introduction about the subject what is railway engineering what is railway planning what are the basic surveys to be done to start a project and what is railway alignment what is the alignment of a track and how to do 
how to make alignment for a particular railway line or railway track and what is the environmental impact assessment we have to prepare for a railway project okay now and it, it means in first unit we will have only four or five topics and is uh, coming to second unit in second unit something we will enter into technical aspects of the subject understand and so in second unit we in second unit also we will have only four or five topics and first topic is the railway track construction and the second topic is the uh, it means our various uh, components of railway track construction like uh, what are the piles and what are the crossings crossings how to preview signals and what are the various components of uh, railway track so that is called as permanent way so but all these things we will study in first topic and in second topic we will study about the railway track maintenance sorry in second topic we will study about uh, geometric design of railway tracks okay now so in under geometric design of railway tracks we will have so many number of topics we will discuss so geometric design is the what are the various elements of a railway track are called as geometric design it means what are the various things we need to construct while making a railway alignment railway track alignment and how to what are the various difficulties will arise and how to giving the solutions to the various problems of a railway track either it may be topographical difficulties or either it there may be operational difficulties all those things need to be considered and then we need to start design of a railway track understand and so all those considerations called as uh, geometric design considerations and under this geometric design we will study about uh, various things like gradients and uh, also we will study about uh, curves and also we will study about uh, super elevation and we will also study about uh, various curves and also various valleys valley curves so about all these things we will study here okay now so this is the second unit in second unit we will have only two two points but under second point the second topic we are having some more topics like gradients curves super elevation valley curves and all those things transition curves also okay now so this is somewhat uh, problematic topic somewhat uh, geometrical and also it needs some mathematical knowledge it requires understand or not so this is the first unit and second unit of the subject and coming to third unit and unit 3 we will study about uh, in unit 3 we will study about railway track construction in unit 2 also we will study about railway track construction and unit 3 also we will study about railway track construction and under this also we will study about railway track construction and maintenance okay now so about this we will study here okay now so various maintenance it means various uh, various things will be there in maintaining the railway tracks what are the problems will occur and in in a track uh, somewhere may be some failures may be there some times some problems may arise so all those things how to overcome them how to identify the problems how to overcome those problems what are the techniques we need to use what are the things we need to know about all those things we will study in unit 3 understand or not so unit 1 unit 2 and unit 3 will discuss about the railway engineering as already i told you that railway and airport engineering okay na 
So in first part, we will study about railway engineering and in unit one, unit two, unit three, these three units will cover about uh, railway engineering and unit four and unit five will deal about the airport engineering. Now we will see about the airport engineering. So unit four and unit five will discuss about the airport engineering. In unit four, we will study about the various uh, basic things about the airport engineering. And the first topic is the airport planning and design. And also we will study about the airport site selection. Under this we will study about how to select a proper site for an airport to construct an airport and airport layout, how to make a layout for airport. And uh, also we will study about the various components of airport like uh, runway, understand and how to design runway. And uh, also one more thing we will study about here, windrows diagrams. Here in the airport engineering also we will need a concept windrows. So how to draw windrows diagrams for airport airports and also for air transport we will study here. And uh, one more thing we will study here, uh, runway design and Runway drainage. Okay, now runway region, runway drainage, and also runway ja geometric design elements. Okay, now, but all these things we will study in fourth unit and coming to unit five. In unit five, we will study about uh, some other component of uh, airport that is taxiway. Taxiway design, we will study. And in this also, we will study about various components of airports. So like uh, apron, terminal buildings, and uh, various uh, hang, various passenger facilities, and uh, also one more one more thing is there hangers. Okay now, so this is the second topic of unit five, and one more topic is there in unit five that is air traffic control. So this topic is simply called as ATC. Under ATC, how to control air traffic? It means what is air traffic and how to control the air traffic? We will study under this. And uh, under this, we will study about uh, primary functions of ATC. And also we will, one more topic we will study about uh, runway safety. Accident due to veteran waves. And modernization of airport terminal. Okay, so about all these things we will study in 15 minutes. Okay, now. so this is the syllabus of the subject uh, runway, uh, sorry, railway and airport engineering. In these two parts are there. First one is railway engineering. Next one is the airport engineering. In first three units, we will study about uh, railway engineering. And in last two units, that is unit four and unit five, we will study about airport engineering. Okay, now. so from next class, we will start the uh, railway engineering. After completing railway engineering, I will start about airport engineering. Okay, hope you all understand the what is railway engineering, what is airport engineering, and what are the topics we are going to study in this subject. Okay, now. so from next class we will, I will enter into the subject. Thank you. Thank you so much.